I have a feeling today is going to be one of the good days on the subreddit because I handpicked a ton of posts for you guys today. The only thing I'm really seeing people complain about still is the drops in the event. Seems that a lot of people are still really upset about that. So we will go over that at first, see what people have to say about it. Maybe this is something new that we haven't seen yet, but I also found a ton of really good memes. Seems like every big post about drops is complaining about them. This one has 4.2 thousand upvotes and it says, excuse me, why is a 1000 bling the chance of a hypercharged skin? I think that's a fair question. 1000 bling can't really get you anything. And then on the other hand, a hypercharged skin is like the most insane drop that this game should ever see. It's pretty much like the same as getting a pin from a normal star drop. So I only realized this. Why wouldn't they put this Byron skin in the thing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's a Brawl Pass skin and I'm pretty sure it was like a Halloween skin last year because it's mythic. Oh, really? I honestly thought that there were some mythic skins in there, but I guess that's not right. I don't know. Skin rarities feel so weird nowadays. Like epic skins used to be what legendary skins would have been two years ago. Everything's out of whack. Come and get your free 200 coins. Woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> As per usual, the Brawl Stars community complaining about free things. Have we ever seen any different? No. There is always that one guy who gets unlucky with RNG aspects in games like this. And I believe that the person who posted this is one of those people and i am sorry for you but if you like and subscribe right now then your next drop will be guaranteed hypercharge mortis what why can you even get this in the event so it is an epic amazing insano style drop and you get 1000 coins hey it's basically the same thing as the 1000 bling post we just saw i've gotten so many of these but i'm not surprised i don't think anybody should be surprised because there's always drops like this in these events if these drops weren't a thing oh he's uninstalling the game <laughs> if coins and bling wasn't an option then pretty much everybody would get all of the skins and Supercell does not want that. They want you to get some of the skins and that is all. How do you think they'll be paying their debts? Like, do they have the tech to detect who didn't get the correct amount of star drops or is this going to be like a global compensation? I kind of hope that they know who it affected. It seems like they do. I'm pretty sure I saw a tweet somewhere saying like, we will find the affected people and then compensate them with something. And the only bad thing about that is we cannot choose what drops we get. So uh, I, honestly, I think that answers your question. And this is like the bug if you guys are under a rock right now. Some players, including me, when they finished this event here, got only five star drops instead of 20. It affected a lot of people. But yeah, there's going to be a fix for it. So I don't even know why there's so many posts about it still. Okay, this is weird though. Clicked on this drop, then it canceled both of the drops I was going to open. And it's just like a drop out of the abyss. It also says this is the buggiest update so far. It literally had countless bugs and glitches, which is true. Unfortunately, yeah, this update literally had like so many glitches. I don't even know if we can count how many there's been at this point still though this is like my favorite event so far despite the glitches just because of how cool it is and i'm not trying to like glaze or anything i just like the concept a lot but i do agree that the bugs and glitches is like a little bit much i don't really know how this many things slip through the cracks so that's it about the drops that is pretty much everything everyone has to say about them i don't think i'm ever going to talk about them again no point it's going to be the same stuff over and over again but like this one was kind of funny either way moving on we have a post from carnage i don't think i've reviewed one of their posts in a while but uh, they've designed seven new traits in Brawl Stars. Obviously, we already have a lot in the game, but uh, you can never have too many of a good thing when it comes to this, I I think. <laughs> First trait, this Brawler's respawn time is faster compared to other Brawlers. I actually think that's a, that's a pretty good idea. I don't know who that would go on, but like, it would be fun. And also useless in Solo Showdown. 25% damage dealt to this Brawler is dealt to the attacker as well, so it is like perma thorns or perma Jackie counter crush. Counter crush is so annoying in a game like this though, but yeah, this would definitely have to be on like a tank. We have an eyeball ability. This brawler can see the super charge of enemies. How would that work? That's weird. I think this one's a bit too weird, actually. This brawler's attacks removes 10% of the enemy's super charge. Oh my god, that would be obnoxious. Imagine being a brawler who has a slow super charge. This brawler who would have this trait would have to have like the slowest attack in the world, like Angelo or something. Next up, this brawler will begin to move faster and faster the lower health they get. So it's like Frank's increase of speed in his hammer, but but with running. I'm gonna be real. I don't even know how a brawler doesn't have this already. Super cell anybody from supercell if you are watching pass this idea on it is a pretty good idea future brawler what next up this brawler begins to move faster as long as they keep moving uh <laughs> i don't know about that one this would definitely have to have a cap to it like with a cap honestly it would be pretty cool kind of a brawler that can rev up like even max maybe should have this i feel like it would be perfect and also really good for an assassin 
design as long as it has a cap. Final one, the Sprawler's stats slowly get stronger every few seconds of the match. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like Surge and Clancy, but like you don't have to do anything. You just have to exist. It is the comeback mechanic of all time. <laughs> you just get. Also, not really a horrible idea. Honestly, maybe like some kind of game mode with this mechanic in it would be fun. I don't really know how that would work, but yeah, these are really good ideas. Subscribe to Carnage Game on YouTube right now. Do it right now. Just got my first rank 25. Look at this guy go. I'm going to be perfectly honest, bro. I don't miss this version of Brawl Stars. I don't really miss any landscape version of Brawl Stars in general. I think right now is the peak. I know competitive players definitely don't agree with me for the most part, but as a casual player, there were like two peaks of this game. First peak was like the start of beta when everything was uh, honestly horrible, but like looking back, nostalgia, it's crazy what nostalgia can do with a game, but like the game had nothing yet. I would still struggle to pick between that and current game, but anything between then and now, nah. Either take me all the way back or keep me where I am. The duality of the Brawl Star community will never cease to exist. This has 8,000 upvotes just to show how many people agree with this, pretty much. <laughs> Three losses in a row? Don't worry, you'll play with bots now. Are you just making the game easy to say I'm a noob? Thanks, Supercell, for making my life easier. I'm on the top half, bro. I'm molding anytime I get bots. Sometimes it happens out of nowhere, too. Like, I'll win a game and then get bots the next game at 900 trophies. I don't really understand. I was winning every match in my competition thingy, and uh, the last two matches were bots like i didn't lose <laughs> it was so weird this is a problem in a lot of games i think fortnite started it and fortnite starts a lot of bad things i'm not even gonna lie they started battle passes they started bots overpriced cosmetics pretty sure they started skill-based matchmaking too or at least they hopped on that train and anything fortnite hops on every other game in the circle hops on as well but i'm gonna be perfectly honest those are the things that really kill games and people don't even realize it most new players in this game spend the majority of time fighting ai instead of real human beings so this is a brawl star parody account but they cut it off to make it look real or something this account makes some really funny stuff we heard your feedback loud and clear apparently y'all have too many coins and not enough powerpoints what no worries we're replacing all existing star drops with powerpoint drops bro fist people would absolutely lose their minds from this but i kind of want them to do it i need to see the world burn how well timed would you say my tripwire kill was all right i will rate it from one to ten okay you clicked it oh that was pretty good. I guess there was no escaping death there. So honestly, 10 out of 10. This should be illegal. Okay. Why? Why should it be illegal? He has the god drop within Brawl Star. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. What? Isn't that a rare skin? Why can you get that from that? Fix your game, Supercell. Who will Gru be tonight? Evil Gene or Angel Gene? Comment section, I need confirmation. Is Gene the only character in this game to have like a, like a devil skin and an angel skin? Let me know, because I feel like he is. How can you be so bad that your most notable stat is 900 healed? <laughs> These are the people who fight bots for 90% of the game, bro. This is what happens when they get put into a real match. Like, this is either an elderly person who's never played a game before or, like, a child who is literally two years into life. There's no way you could get this bad of stats anywhere between. <laughs> I unlocked a new brawler today. W? Goku? Mark my words, this will happen within the next two years. I know absolutely nothing, obviously, but, like, it probably will. Because Fortnite has Goku. Why does bro have a hot zone on his head? Is he stupid? What has the Brawl Stars subreddit become? For this stupid post... <laughs> to get 3.2 thousand upvotes. <laughs> Tell me, let him get 20 star drops by the end or keep going and betray him. No one can beat me anyways, lol. Well, he's gonna get the 20 either way, right? Because you both get 20, so this post is useless. I think my guy forgot to look at the scoreboard. Am I the only one who doesn't get why Juju can walk on water? Like I get when Eve and Angelo do because they fly, but Juju just walks. I've actually been seeing a lot of people talk about this. Like they, they don't really get why Juju can walk on water, but the whole point of her is she messes around with elements. So like, obviously she'll be able to walk on water if she can control it. She's like Moana, bro. Walking on water is one of the most ridiculous mechanics in this entire game. I will always stand by that and i feel like no brawler should walk on water or at least if they do then like after a certain point they should either drown or they should get shoved right off of it i don't think it doesn't make sense that she can walk on water it would remove an entire part of her kit if she couldn't. I think Juju is pretty balanced compared to the brawlers that have been released this year. I haven't seen many people buy her early access bundle too. Yeah, I didn't. And I think the reason I didn't is just because her brawler seems kind of lame, not that she seems weak. I'm pretty certain that pros are saying she's top five or top three or top one. So she's not bad. She's just kind of boring. Like she's a thrower, bro. Every thrower has the same game plan. Hers is a little bit more fun and creative, but uh, it's still a thrower. This is what I was talking about with the duality of the Brawl Stars community. R slash Brawl Stars complaining about the contest and then proceeding 
to downvote posts that offer help. So a lot of people complain that the contest is way too difficult, especially with randoms. And then a post that says to all of you getting clapped in the contest, please use this button, search bar. <laughs> and apparently it helps. I did see that Wasim used it in one of his Wussum videos. You can actually form a team comp and then go in and roll. Unless your randoms still suck, then you leave that team. But yeah, zero upvotes. You should save up your gems because November 29 is Black Friday and you can get some mythic and legendary skins for real cheap. I cannot confirm if that is true, but like either way, I would say to save your gems for Black Friday because they will most likely do something. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't save your gems for this. So if you have some gems, then do not spend them because you could get something for a real big deal. Or maybe it'll be like 20% off. Woohoo. <laughs> now we have the duality of the Brawl Star community and the Clash Royale community. The Brawl Star community says, this update sucks. Why don't we get everything for free? The Clash Royale community says, the new update is pay to win again. I know. The Clash Royale fan base has accepted the fact that that game is completely pay to win. There is no competing in Clash Royale without being completely pay to win because of level 15 alone. They've been doing better with giving evolutions out, but level 15 will forever be a problem until they either remove it or make it way easier to get. Girlfriend made me a cake for reaching 10k trophies. Guys, this is wholesome. Girlfriend, I don't know if you're watching this, but you don't have to make a cake like this for me. Yeah, that's right. I said it. I don't really like cake anyways, but yeah, this is wholesome. W girlfriend. What do I even save this for? And this guy's got 9,260 credits saved up from the old chroma credits from a year ago. I feel like it's been longer since the credits update. No, am I going crazy? <laughs> Has it really only been like a year and not even two or three or four or five or six? If this is real though, then you should have used it on Kenji. I'm going to be real. There's honestly no time to use it unless you like quit the game for a year and then you have like four brawlers lined up ready to be gotten. Either that or you just use it when the next legendary comes out. Final post. Why aren't there any female mecha skins? Brawl Star, what are you doing? Where are the women? This is an incredible question and I think that mecha Tara would actually be good even though I don't really like mecha skins. If there was going to be a girl mecha brawler skin then I think Tara would look great. She's already got like the cyberpunk type style skin and that already works for her so I feel like this this would work even better. Do it, Brawl Star, even though I won't buy it because I don't like the mecha skins. But yeah, that is Brawl Star subreddit for today. Kind of wild, really wacky posts. Subscribe right now or Brawl Star.